So I think the biggest piece of news that we found out out of the last video is that the Ottomans really might lose a lot of their strength. It, it's all kind of a matter of time. I'm thinking when the Russians end their truce with at, at 1866, the Egyptians are going to call on the Russians. I don't think the Ottomans are ready to deal with both the Russians to the south and the massive force that Egypt already has. Even if they have alliances and, and, and the vassal, I don't think it's going to be enough. Now right now, luckily for the Ottomans, they have the Egyptians on their side as they go after Naples, which is actually the first, I believe the first European war uh, that the Ottomans have gotten themselves into, and more than likely they'll be extremely successful, although the Ottomans might be focused more on dealing with their rebels, oh they just took them down right now. Well, the Egyptians will probably do all the work for the Ottomans, which has actually been kind of a reoccurring theme we've seen so far, as the Egyptians really hold a lot of strength. So that's why I'm saying I don't think the Ottomans will be able to fight. I think just one-on-one, -on -one, Egypt versus the Ottomans, would be entertaining. Uh, but the fact that Egypt's going to have the support of the Russians to the north, yeah, that's that's too much. That's, that's too much to, to try to stop on their own. Uh, anyways, let's go and double-check in on the wars. Uh, there's been some time that's gone by. Uh, looks like, oh, we have Persia involved. Oh my goodness, finally. All right. And it doesn't look like Persia's doing too well. 11, they've got negative 11 war score against Punjab. Uh, okay, but let's first, uh, so I don't miss anything else. Chile, Norway still at it. I don't know why they're still going after this. The Netherlands are actually winning their war against the British Pacific. I don't know how that's happening either. We should probably just double check on that. And then here's the uh, Ottoman uh, Naples war. Okay, what's going on here in, in New Zealand? How are they losing this? How do they have such low war score? Are they being blockaded? No. I don't know why the game's giving them low war score. That's interesting. Well, there's probably something. Maybe they lost a few uh, battles out, in sea, uh, out at sea. That's a significant uh, war score modifier. Anyways, uh, we've... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Really? Uh, so that's, that's bad. Are you losing this? Yeah, you're losing this really bad. This... Uh, this, I guess, nation from Indonesia looks like they might acquire their entire, all their land. Wow. They're just moving through. I guess Indonesia had, no, I'm sorry, I guess the Netherlands really had nothing here to protect their colony. Dutch Indonesia. Anyways, okay, let's move on. Also Spanish. Uh, the, Sp the Spanish and the Portuguese have begun to colonize uh, Papua New Guinea. <laughs> all right. So let us, uh, let's focus in on, well, there's, uh, let's focus in on the Persian Punjab war. I was trying to figure out what we're going to focus in on for this one. This Persian Punjab is, is a big one. Uh, now Persia didn't seem to be doing too well. Looks like they lost, what did they lose exactly? They lost a few land battles. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm guessing? They lost, they're being blockaded and then three from battles. So yeah, the negative 10, they're getting negative 10 from three different battles. So they must've lost all three battles, uh, that went, went, went going on. Now, how, how, how does Punjab have this much power? Are we missing something here? What's going on here? Uh, they've got a third. I mean, I'm guessing just their regiments. They just have a lot of regiments. Where are the Persians at? Where are the Persian forces? Do they, do they leave the Middle East for a little bit, or, or what's going on? Uh, I, I've been meaning to check in on the ledger. I guess we will check in briefly now, but I think I'll do it again for the next episode just to, uh, just to do it over the beginning of the episodes. I like to check over ledger and, and this information. Uh, at the beginning of episodes, but anyways, Russia right now is the biggest army. We've got the USA, Qing. Uh, wow, surprised that Russia's really reaching out way above uh, everybody else. Mexico, not too far away from the USA. That is a big one. And Canada, man, that that's going to be a crazy continental war. Uh, then we have Revolutionary France, Peru, Aus Aus Austria, Brazil, the Ottomans. Persia is at 42,000, but where are they? Uh, I, I have no idea where they're at. And Punjab is only at 32,000. So technically, okay, well, there's a 42 stack here. There's a 20 stack here. Where are the Persians at? Are they dealing with another? Oh, Turkmenistan formed. We didn't see that. Who are they allied to? Oh, the Ottomans. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't noticing some of these some of these new nations. Uh, also, Punjab, who did you call in? Oh, just very small nations. They don't, they're not going to have a significant impact at all, I don't believe. Uh, wait a second. Are, maybe, maybe the, no, I thought maybe the other Persian forces... Well, they've they've grabbed them back wherever they were. It looks like Uh so actually they are having an impact. That smaller Indian nation is bringing it to kind of a tie where the Persians are at about 40,000 regiments whereas also the uh, Punjab and their and their alliance is at about 40,000 too. So they are having a pretty big impact. They are deep into Persian territory. Are they, uh, they uh, do they already have the are they going after the capital? Is that what it is? Is that why they're so deep into Persia already? 
Uh, it looks... No, but I, I think this was it. Tehran. Yeah, no, they don't have Tehran just yet. But they're going after some more. Problem here is that Persia... It's going to be a messy, messy battle for the AI because a lot of this is uh, is mountain, mountainous terrain. Uh, and the AI could make some pretty big mistakes by trying to attack in that, in that region, in some of those locations. Uh, Naples was having some success, but now the Ottomans have sent over all their troops. Ooh, what do we have? Egyptian particularists. Man, uh, man excuse me. The, uh, the Ottomans and their vassals have been really dealing with a lot of, of rebels. Still, still. Ottoman reactionaries. I mean, the, the Ottomans still have rebels to deal with. It's crazy. Luckily, they have kind of the army size to, to be able to kind of slow them down at least. Okay, France, something really bad is going to happen with these Algerian separatists if you don't do anything about this. You've got a force just sitting there. I don't know what your navy, maybe your navy's hands are tied or something, but you got to get them over this way. And also, so I guess we don't see a progress bar. I'd love to be able to see exactly a kind of a progress bar of how much longer rebels need to go by before, you know, like separatists. Like like how many more months until, the Al until Algeria actually pops out of revolutionary France? That'd be excellent to kind of get into the future, but I don't think there is a way just yet. Can't hover over anything. No. Oh, oh, oh. Well, looks like you tried something. I think, dude, you have got low morale too. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna try again. You're, you're, you are attacking in the highlands, but you have a two star general. You kind of need this right now. And no, that is still once again going to go for the Algerian separatists' favor. We might see uh, France lose a big chunk of their colony. Algeria might pop up here. Oh my gosh, did you stack wipe too? Yes, you did. You absolutely need this regiment to the north. Okay, so they look like they might be relocating some of them to North Africa, but I don't believe they have enough transport ships to send all their forces at the same time, which would be a problem. Uh, they were close to being able to do it with about half this, uh, half this rebel size, but they didn't have enough. They didn't quite have enough. Who's allied to the French? Uh, yeah, so no one in the, in the nearby, in any sort of nearby location that can really help them out. We need to keep an eye on this because Algeria might seriously form uh, are you winning your war against Naples? No, not really. I don't know why. I guess it's the rebels. They're very, very lucky. Ooh, now Persia's starting to start. They're starting to really dominate. These Persian pe peasants are going to have them. They're going to slow things down now. Oh, no, actually, they're back in. They're both in their own terrain. Persia's probably going to deal with the rebels, unoccupy these lands, whereas Punjab does the same thing. This might end in a stagnation. Until these two nations get some sort of uh, strong alliance, uh, I don't know. I can't see one dominating over the other. Yeah, anyways, let's double check in on the wars. Current wars. All right, so there seems to be a lot more. We've got Spain and Great Britain. Now, why? Spain reconquest of Gibraltar. Oh, that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. Uh, Montenegro, Sweden, and obviously Cape Colony is on the Spanish side. We've got all of the Spanish colonies as well as Brazil and the Papal State. Okay. Uh, right now, Persia's got 11 war scores, so that really shifted back towards their side in terms of war score. Hanover. Who's in a personal... Are they... Wait a second. Did the British lose that personal union? Uh, oh my gosh. Did you really? Whoa. You did. Hanover is now an independent nation. Uh, and that would explain... Now, wait a second. Was that an offensive war by Hanover that was made? Uh, where did that go? No, it wasn't. It was a defensive war. So, you know what? Once they separated from the British Empire, a lot of the other nations surrounding them were probably like, All right, this is our chance. We need to attack. UPCA and Peru working after the British. Man, the British are just so busy all the time, constantly at war. It is crazy. Uh, yes, that is exactly what happened. A lot of the nations that surrounded them, I can't wait to see exactly what happens here in uh, Dutch Indonesia. And Canada, again, just pushing around the native tribes. They're probably going to destroy Blackfoot here. All right. Um, yeah, so Prussia is also involved in this. So Prussia could gain some lands. It's Prussia, so they're, Prussia's just allied to people. Why haven't... Prussia needs to form Germany. I don't know what they're doing. Ooh, and who's here? Peru has landed in the British Isles, which seems to be a really successful strategy so far. What is this? Swedish revolutionaries. Uh-oh. Could we see revolutionary Sweden? Maybe. Uh, is Blackfoot dead yet? No, not yet. And who is going after British Columbia? Ah, they're supporting Canada, uh, Canada against the... Uh, against Blackfoot. 
And look at that. Look at those borders for Alaska. I mean, there it's a Russian colony, but I'm just saying, like, it's perfect. That's exactly it, I believe. Uh, and they're also expanding their territory in California. Mexico hasn't gone after, I don't think, any more natives. The UPCA and Peru seem to, they probably have some success here, kicking the British out of Central uh, America. I feel bad for the British, man. This has got to be such a tough start. I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling the challenge. Maybe I need to try this in a, a single-player campaign, just, just to see if I can keep up with all the wars. Oh man, that'd be crazy. And I love how successful Belgium's been. Belgium has had some major, major success. I don't know how long they're going to keep this up, because obviously in Europe, Belgium is not the strongest of nations. I don't know exactly how long they're going to hold on to these colonies, but man, it's cool. Uh, Mutapa, Mutsapa. I'm not sure. They're dealing with some noble rebels that they can't really fight back against. Uh, I'm looking for some visual. Okay, I get you. Uh, Belgium. Okay. Just checking in on that. They've got 100% liberty desire. Ah, so they might already lose that. Independence supported by Denmark and revolutionary France. Oh, then that's that's a for sure thing that they would they would break apart. Yeah, that would happen for sure. Ethiopia looks like they lost a lot of power, and we totally forgot about that. We totally kind of skipped over that, I think. Any other colonization that's going on? No. I don't know why the Ottomans aren't super successful uh, against their war against Naples. Maybe those... I I'm, I'm guessing the rebels have really slowed down the Ottomans' progress. Where are the regiments at? I have no idea where the regiments are even at. Here are the, the Egyptians. I haven't really seen much... Oh, they're going around. Oh, Naples, you're screwed now. Oh, you, you done goofed, man. You done goofed. 27 stack of uh, Peruvians probably going to maybe stack, wipe, or push back the British soldiers here. Uh, like I said, Hanover's kind of done. Let's double check on Persia and Punjab. Again, seems to be pretty stagnant. Seems to be pretty stagnant. Don't think it's going to go one way or the other. Also, just to take note, I know that currently the Ottomans are in a war, but that truce, I believe, that the Russians had with the Ottomans is up in April. Okay, so next month. All right. Obviously, they can't declare the independence while at war with their overlord. I mean, I mean, yeah, in against somebody else, I mean. Uh, so they still have to wait. Has this... Ooh, we have a new nation that formed. Not sure... How? Wait a second. How did you do that? Occupied by... Oh, oh, so these guys... Ah, you forced them to pop out a few nations here. Okay, so the Europeans are starting to lose just all around. They're all around starting to lose a lot of their colonies. And look at this. Portugal regained this territory. East Timor. I'm not sure if uh, that nation forced Portugal or forced them to give it back. When did Australia go to war with... Wait, wait a sec. Oh, this is the, that's Spanish Pacific. I, I apologize. Uh, that's what I was going to look at. Iberia. Let's double check in Iberia, see how they're doing. They should have some... Oh, so wait a second. The British had one... I thought they had one more province here in, in Iberia. Maybe maybe not. I'm, I'm still in crack, I think. Well, Spain's having some success against the British. They will probably take Gibraltar back. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, revolutionary France is trying their best to slow down the Algerian separatists and their progress. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Hanover is going to survive for a little bit longer. And this is going to be very, very tough for Sweden to, slop, to stop these uh, revolutionaries. That will be extremely tough. And for the Ottomans, I mean, it's just kind of a, a ticking time bomb. Whenever this war ends... Oh, let's see the progress they've made in the Italian peninsula, actually. Whoa, look at these. Is he, are these all alliances they have here? Or are these... Who are these from? Oh, they're vassals now. Jeez, the Ottomans have so many vassals. How do they How do they get these this many vassals? It's crazy. Well, anyways. Um, yeah, so I imagine they're having like huge success in northern Naples. Well, not huge success, but they're about to. Especially since Naples is kind of trapped in North Africa. I'm surprised the Ottomans didn't utilize their, their navy more. It seemed like a kind of an interesting, easier strategy. All right, so Spain's at 19% war score. We've got Thailand versus Great Britain. All right, wait a second. Now, why? That's an interesting one. Oh, Persia's back at negative 22% war score. Did did the, the tide shift back for kind of another side? Naples at negative 20 war score? Maybe. 
Uh, I mean, they still are about the same size in terms of regiments and who's going at each other, but I don't know why... I don't know. Maybe they won a few battles and, you know, kind of just teeter-totters back and forth. Who's these guys? These guys popped up out of, uh, out of somewhere. It's very hard to follow the subcontinent of, of India. Very just, just always things going on. All right, so Thailand is at war with... Oh, the British here. I get you. You probably want more lands in British uh, Bengal, I think. Wow, what, what happened? When did Thailand get this powerful? So nations are starting to form all left and right. Uh, we've got Vietnam and Thailand both forming. Do I'm guessing they don't like each other. They hate each other, in fact. Okay. And when does Qing get involved? And when does Qing form China? Will they form China? I guess that's a better question. How are the Philippines doing? Are they going to get involved with the Indonesians as the Indonesians kind of start to fall apart here? Spanish Papa looking good as well as Portugal's doing the same thing. Uh, ooh, ooh, a bunch of rebels kind of stopped the British Pacific's pros, uh, progress in this northern uh, New Zealand island. Only allied to British Columbia. Oh, they're not doing so well. Yeah, they're not having a good time. It's these, uh, these revolutionaries. So why are, have all these revolutionaries popped up now? The British starting to really colonize the Pacific. More than anybody else. How's people feeling towards Hawaii? No one's going after Hawaii yet. This can be really interesting borders. I can already tell these borders are going to be very interesting. These are separatists. These are Canadian. No, Blackfoot uh, separatists. Why does it also say Canada? Uh, comma Canada. What does that mean? Hmm, I don't know what that means. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah, Blackfoot was destroyed. Uh, so were the Sioux, but that might have been... I think, were they destroyed by Cheyenne? Maybe. Well, nonetheless, Canada has reached far into modern-day uh, U.S. Ter territory. I'm wondering if they're going to move to the south or continue off to the west in colonization. Or they're probably just, who's going to go after the Shoshone? So I imagine the natives will probably get taken out by, I, I'm thinking all the natives will be taken out by the 20th century. century. Ecuador, I think, did Ecuador just pop up? I don't remember that nation being there either. Brazil is not colonizing for some reason. A lot of this stuff is open. The Americans are allied to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so the Americans have been picking up some alliances, uh, which they really, really needed. They're allied to Russia, Brazil, Spain, and uh, who's the other one? And Australia. Oh, wow. All right, so they've really been picking up some quite some alliances. Oh, bam, the Netherlands are moving to Australia. So, yeah, more than likely, uh, Australia will be the dominant power. And I'm thinking if it's if they just have to work with the Netherlands, I mean, that's fine. They're going to they'll be able to dominate the Dutch, uh, the Dutch and like like everything that the Dutch kind of colonized as well as Belgium colonized. I can't see them both holding on to that to those things very long just because they border, you know, revolutionary France, revolutionary France at any point can just go in there and, you know, start just screwing things up if they wanted. Can't believe that Ireland has also stayed around for this long. They have a mission. They're building something. Peru sending even more forces in Cornwall, but they haven't done anything else. Uh, no rebels in Portugal. And did you deal with the, separ the Algerian separatists? No, you have not yet. You have not. The Ottoman War against Naples is still going on. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there, and Egypt is continuing to colonize deeper into the Sahara. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, did they peace out? They did, and they took a huge, Punjab took a huge chunk out of Persia. All right, so yes, we are seeing a great power form right in front of us. That is unless Russia or Qing get involved. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.